to my video on how to play Howling, the darker than black opening theme. First thing you're going to have to do is uh, down tune your guitar to drop B. And once you've done that, we can begin with the lesson. Alright, so in the intro we have uh, this chord. You're going to have your pinky on the 4th string, on the 8th fret, 7th fret of the 3rd string, and then you're going to bar the 1st and 2nd string on the 5th fret. And then you'll do two muted strums, and then you'll strum that chord. Then the next chord you have is uh, on the 2nd and 4th string, you're playing the 10th fret, and then you have the 9th uh, fret of the 3rd string. And it's that same kind of strum pattern. And then you have 8th fret on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string. And I like to bar it, but you can do this as well. And then you go back to that first chord we played. And then after that, uh, distortion kicks in. So let me just turn that on. And then you have this pick scratch. Let me turn that even higher. So all you do is just, you know, you scrape your pick along, say the bottom three strings. And then we have that riff. Let me turn the gain down a bit. So that is, and this riff is like, you can kind of think of it as the main riff. It's played pretty much throughout most of the song. And you're going to do power chord. So on these drop tunings, power chords can be played on the 6th string. They can be played just by fretting the 5th and 6th string on the same fret. So in this case, on the 10th fret, those two bottom strings, we'll play a power chord, and then we'll do an open string power chord. So just the 5th uh, and 6th string open. And that's like... So that 10th fret power chord, then two open string power chords. Next you have this, and that's just a 6th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret power chord. So that's what we have so far. And then you're going to do an open string power chord to the 5th fret power chord. Now when we do that 5th fret power chord, we're going to add the octave. So to do that, all you do is just add that 4th string in there on that 5th fret. So, let's play what we have so far. And then from there, we're going to play that 5th fret power chord again, this time without the octave, and you'll slide it up to the 7th fret. Next you have this. So that little riff is uh, two palm mutes on the 7th fret of the 6th string. And then an 8th fret power chord, 7th fret power chord, 7th fret palm mute, 7th fret power chord. And then you repeat it. So that's, that's like the whole riff. And then uh, at the end of that riff you add two palm mutes on the 7th fret. So if I was to uh, play that, that lick with the slide in the beginning, it sounds like... And then after that, you play the, uh, the riff again, starting over. But this time we go to the third fret. Instead of playing that slide up lick, we'll go to the third fret and we'll play... Stuff. But what we're doing is that if you think in eighth notes, this this one measure, this one bar on the third fret, it's going to be a power chord on the first beat, and then a power chord on the very last eighth note. So the upbeat after the four. So if I counted it, it'd be like one and two and three and four and then we go to the first fret 
one and two and three and four and. So on that first fret, for this measure, you play a power chord on the um, first beat, power chord on the upbeat after the two, and then a power chord on the four. And, there, and there's a uh, palm mutes on all the other eighth notes in between those power chords, right? So. So if I counted it, it'd be like one and two and three and four. Oh, let me try it again. So if I counted it, it'd be like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right. So next we have the verse. Well, actually, let's play that. Let's play that whole thing first before we move on. So next we have the verse. This is when the vocals come in. And it's pretty much that same riff again, but this time we have a palm mutes added to the rhythm. So it's going to be like... Right? The same riff, but now we have uh, palm mutes in there. So you're going to do that 10 fret power chord to open string power chord. Then you'll do three palm mutes on the open six string. Then you have that, you know, six, five, third fret power chord lick again. You'll do one palm mute on the third fret, that six string. And then a open string power chord to that fifth fret power chord. And we're not going to add the octave to this one this time. Instead, we'll do palm mutes. So I think there's five palm mutes in there on the fifth fret. And then you have... So that's exactly the same as last time. It's that same lick in there. So, so far we got... Now you play it again. Then you go down... Uh, excuse me. And then you go down to that third fret, kind of like before. And then instead of going to that first fret, you're gonna play an eighth fret power chord to a tenth fret power chord, and you're gonna add the octave to those ones. You know, the octave makes the power chord a little bit bigger sounding, more full. So if I was uh, play that third fret part, and I was to count it. It'd be like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And. So that A fret power chord comes in a little early. It actually comes in like an eighth, an eighth note before the next bar. So then after that, we have that main riff again. So, you know, pretty much the same way we played it in the intro, but there's one slight variation at the end. So when you're on that first fret, instead of going one and two and three and four and, you're gonna go one and two and three and four and right so that's just the third fret power or excuse me fifth fret power chord then seven fret power chord okay for this next section we have this so what's happening there is that we're playing that uh more traditional power chord shape on the fifth string so you're gonna do first fret the uh fifth string 3rd fret of the 4th, and 3rd fret of the 3rd string, and then we're also going to include the 1st fret of the 2nd string, 
and you do that by just barring your first finger. And then you're going to pick the fifth string going up to the second string. Like so. Next, all you need to do is slide that shape onto the third string. So you're just going up two frets. And then you do that same picking pattern, but when you hit the second string, you come back down and pick the third string. Then you're going to go up two frets again. Now you're on the fifth fret, and you do that same thing. Go back down to the third fret, do it again. Then back down to the first fret, and this time we're just going to play the power chord normally. We're not including that second string. It's just the fifth, fourth, and third string. And then you got... So that's just an open 5th string power chord, you got the open 5th string, 2nd fret the 4th, 2nd fret the 3rd, you just strum that chord, and then 2 palm mutes, strum that chord, 2 palm mutes, strum that chord, then 1 palm mute. And then, you're going to go to the 5th fret of the 6th string, play that drop tuning power chord, with some uh, palm mutes on the 5th fret after that. And then you're going to play that 5th fret power chord, and then two 7th fret power chords. Like that. And then you have some palm mutes on the 7th fret. And then you're going to do a 7th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret power chord. So that's like... So, we'll play that, that whole thing. See what that sounds like. So, you know, not the best playing, but I'm sure you can do it better than I can. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is... So what's happening there is that we have the A fret power chord with that octave added. And then you're going to play 7th fret of the 4th string, 11th fret, excuse me, 10th fret of the 2nd string. And then you have that string in between muted. So this is like an octave shape. And you're going to strum that 3 times. Bring that shape down 2 frets. Now you're on the 5th fret. Strum it twice. Then up back to where it was on that 7th fret, strum it twice. Then you'll have the 3rd fret power chord with that octave added. Then you do that octave thing again. Right, so right now we have... Ooh, that was kind of sloppy, but hopefully you get the idea. And then next we'll have... So that's that 8th fret power chord again. And then, you know, you strum it twice. But then you're going to have this upstroke where you're playing the 10th uh, fret of the 3rd and 4th string. So you're going to do two down strums on that power chord. While the power chord's still ringing, you're going to come up and hit those 3rd uh, and 4th string on the 10th fret. Then you're going to go to the 10th fret, play that power chord. And then it's kind of the same thing. But this time we're doing the 11th fret of the 2nd string and 12th fret of the 3rd string. And you're giving it like 4 strums when you come up and do that up strum. Right, so it's... Next you have this... A little hard to hear. So what's happening is that we're playing the 9th fret of the 3rd string, 10th fret of the 4th, and then 12th fret of the 3rd string. And these are all palm muted. So that's, uh, that's kind of a... Actually, I think it is. It's a major triad pattern. And you do that, you do that for like 3 cycles. 
and then you have so that's just that octave thing again starting on the seventh fret you give it three strums you go down one fret you're on the uh, sixth fret now give that two strums go down a fret again now you're on the fifth fret and you give it two strums okay so next we have that a fret power chord like before and then you do the octave that little line there and instead of going to that third fret power chord we're going to play a power chord on the fifth fret of the fifth string so you have that there and then all you do is add the seventh fret of the fourth string then you do the octave thing next it's going to be third fret of the fifth string we're going to add the octave so the fifth fret of the third string and again that string in between is muted. And you strum that three times. You're gonna go up two frets, now you're on the fifth fret. Strum that five times. Go up two frets, now you're on the seventh fret. Strum that three times. Go up one fret, now you're on the eighth fret. Strum that five times. And then now you're on the tenth fret. You still have that octave shape going on. And you strum that for a whole bar. Then you're going to go down two frets, you're back on the eighth, and this time what we're going to do, you're going to strum that octave pattern, or shape I should say, you strum that octave shape once, and then you're going to add your pinky to the eleventh fret of the second string, see that? And you're going to come up and you're going to hit that twice. You're going to hit that second string and third string twice, while that, uh, that octave shape is ringing out. So that's going to be like... And then you go down one fret, and you kind of do that same thing. It's that same thing, just a fret down. Alright, so, so I'm going to play that whole section, show you what it sounds like. So now we're at that, now we rise, close your eyes, that part is just the 8th fret power chord with that octave in there, 10th fret power chord, also with the octave, then you're doing, and that's just the open string power chord, uh, strum it twice, 3rd fret power chord, and then another open string power chord. Then you go back to the eighth fret power chord. Then you're gonna do a power chord on the fifth string, third fret. And you have that octave in there. So the fingering for that is, you know, the third fret, fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, fifth fret, third string. So together. So there you have it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing because I plan on doing more guitar lessons of how to play various anime or video game songs. And if you have any advice or critiques on how to improve my videos, please leave them in the comment section because I'd love to hear it. Or if you have a request of a song you'd like to learn, leave that in the comment section as well. Thank you very much and you have a wonderful day.